Milwaukee and the site of our broadcast today. Welcome to the NBA presented by 2K Sports. What a beautiful Tuesday evening it is, folks. In this game, we'll see the Washington Wizards going up against the Milwaukee Bucks here at Viser Forum. Joined by Chris Weber and Grant Hill, our reporter Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. All right, now a chance to examine the rebounding numbers over the past few months for him. And I'm sure he's not pleased with these stats. His rebounding has taken a bit of a tumble over the last couple of months. He's really got to get his energy back up on the glass and start fighting for boards again. Before we get started, we've got just enough time to head over to the sideline. Allie? Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. A very interesting, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. And now the Washington Wizards starters... Daniel Gafford is out there with Kristaps Porzingis. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's Rui Achimura. And it's Smith in at the point. And for Milwaukee, Giannis plays the four with Lopez in the middle. Drew Holiday out there with Grayson Allen. And it's Middleton in at the three. And a huge part of any NBA team's success is health, especially as we move to the middle part of the schedule. Well, we know injuries are a part of the game, and they shape every NBA season. Unfortunately, they can end a team's season at any moment. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Holiday against Smith. Here's Holiday in the game against Denver. Very impressive. Middleton, no good. Here's Smith. That went a little long. Now Holiday. The 11-footer, and the bucket is good. Nice dribble move to get to the hoop for an easy two. Smith with it. Pass to Beal. It's not going to go for him. Great D that time from Anadokounmpo. Knocked away. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Got it. And Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. Beal outside. Back to Smith. Outside for Zingas. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. You can learn a lot by watching him operate in their offense. The Bucs have gone two of three to get this one going. Anadokounmpo outside. Drives to the hoop. Porzingis against Lopez. No good there. Off the double clutch. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Pass to Porzingis. He's off on that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. As long as you do that, you put yourself in a good position to win, no matter if you're home or away. And Lopez gets it to go. Ready to shoot once he catches it. Lopez has tremendous confidence in his scoring ability. And a huge sigh of relief for Bucks fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. And it's Achimura missing. Just one for five from the field now. I mean, they've come out flat. They need to pick up the energy. And it's Gafford missing. The open shot by Allen. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. You know, Grant, many wondered if Giannis would test free agency. Ultimately avoided all that drama. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to stay and build a winner with the Bucks, And you know what? He did just that. Bringing home the NBA championship. What a reward for the fans in the city of Milwaukee. And just tremendous character from Giannis. Now here's Allen. 
And in that win against the Nuggets, he was a major factor as well. From the arc, Porzingis grabs the board. Washington trailing. Here's Beal. Rebounded by the Bucks. Adana Kumpo has got four rebounds in the game. It's Middleton on the wing. And a great assist by Adana Kumpo. And that one goes in. Adana Kumpo's got three assists now in this one. Now a timeout called by Washington. Last time they met in Washington. And last time against this squad, they struggled to make free throws. And now a chance to look at the small forwards who have been on fire all year. Fifth is Chris Middleton. And these are some of the most dangerous players in the league. Just capable of getting hot and taking over a game in the blink of an eye. There's so many great scores at the small forward spot in the NBA. I mean, to make the list, you got to have a ridiculous amount of firepower. Drops in the three. As long as Bill is active behind the three-point line, he's going to keep the D scrambling. He demands a lot of attention out there. Holiday finds Middleton. On to Kumpo inside. He's guarded by Gafford. Lopez can't hit. And for Washington, they're shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Smith outside. Pass to Beal. Three-pointer. The rebound by the Bucks. He just can't find the touch this quarter. He's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. Milwaukee in the lead. To the inside. And it's Lopez with the jam. I like the show of ferocity from Lopez. Whenever he plays down there with fire, it's infectious. Smith outside. Inside. Here's Porzingis. Nice move. He can't hit that time. Good work defensively by Lopez. And the foul called on Kristaps Porzingis. That's his first foul of the game. Milwaukee with the ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Outside Holiday. Throws it up high. Oh, that's some pesky defense. Should have thought twice before attempting that pass. Beal. Basket counts. Beal's got five. Well, this is what Smith does best. Keeping his eyes moving to set up the open man. Milwaukee has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc in the first quarter. Anadokounmpo outside. On the take. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Daniel Gafford picks one up. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. An MVP caliber talent. The rise of Giannis from scrawny teenager to bulked up superstar has been great to watch. Bryant, he's checked in for Gafford. And so Ana de Kumpo nails both of them. Washington has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Now here's Smith. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Hachimura finds Porzingis. Smith left side. Shot clock at five. Good work defensively by Lopez. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Here we go. One on one. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Holiday with the ball. 
And here is Hanada Kumpo, hounded by Beal. Six to shoot. And the jam by Hanada Kumpo. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. Now here's Smith. Pass to Beal. Back to Smith. Porzingis passes to Achimura. Off target from outside. The Bucks have gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Middleton from the outside. Rebound Washington. Oh, that's just a lucky break for the deep. Yeah, keep giving him that shot. Bad things will happen. To the paint. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist by Smith. Porzingis has gotten his second bucket of the game. Here's Ana Kumpo. He picked up 33 points in their last win against Denver. Yeah, but what even was more impressive, in my opinion, was the shot block. By the end, they were afraid to bring the ball anywhere near. And here's Lopez from the arc. Pure from three-point range. Lopez has got eight. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. It's Beal on the wing. Ana Kumpo covering. Bryant. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. You got to be more physical with Brian than this. I mean, he's skilled at fending off contact on the way up. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Oh, man, such a lethal score. Bradley Bill continues to improve. I mean, in addition to his scoring, a capable passer, and he's focused on becoming a better playmaker as well. The Bucks going with a whole new group out there. A big group substitution here for Washington. Kuzma's checked in for Porzingis. Caldwell Pope comes in for Achimura. Sadaransky, he's checked in for Beal. And Neto is subbed in for Smith. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. Tadaransky shot is off. And Beal doesn't just look to score. He also looks to involve his guys. Yeah, B.A., and that's what real leadership is. And it's coming from Beal. I mean, knowing this will help team chemistry, wanting to make his teammates better players. Now here's Carter. Pass to Nora. Fires from deep. Unable to get that one. Washington has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Here's Neto. Here's Bryant inside. Carter's there. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Well, because of Bryant's strong frame, he's never really afraid to absorb contact. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Milwaukee. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. Also, their passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. As a center, Thomas Bryant is usually all about point blank shots, but he's got some pretty impressive accuracy, making him a real modern big. Now here's Hill. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And here's Sadaransky. Down low. Here's Bryant. Pass to Neto. Here's Sadaransky. Off target from three point range. Thomas Bryant is a guy that really shoots it well from range, C. Webb. It's certainly a threat at the arc and in the paint, and he's consistent as a shooter. I mean, back in 2018, he even shot 14 for 14 in the single game. He's perfect from the line this time. And for the Wizards, they're shooting around 32% to begin this game. Sadaransky outside. Kuzma. That's good. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. 
Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Nora. Now here's Hill. Here's Nora. Here he goes. Can't hit that one. And Washington the other way now. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. And, and, and a lot of it is moving without the ball. When you do that, things tend to open up. Rebounded by Kuzma. Washington's gone only one of four from three-point land. And it's Sadoransky penetrating. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. Uh, Sadoransky can get wily on the drive. I mean, able to duck and dodge his way to the shot. 157 left to play in the first. Here's Carter. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Puts it up from 12. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Washington trailing. To the middle. Here's Caldwell Pope. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. One well, of the scrawny strength, the skinny strength of Caldwell Pope catches defenders by surprise. So good at getting fouled and still finding a way to bury the shot. A minute 37 left in the opening quarter. Now Hill. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Here's Portis. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. So it's Washington now. Four-point game. It's hauled in by Portis. 110 left now in the first quarter. Carter with it. Outside, Hill. An open look for Portis. Good on the baseline, Jay. Portis has got his second bucket on the night. And that was the correct play to make. George Hill a very discerning playmaker. Pass to Neto. Now here's Sadoransky. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Clock at four. To the left side wing. From behind the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Right side Hill. Fires top of the key. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It goes on Thomas Sadoransky. Well, I like the fit of George Hill on this team. He could play either guard spot. Great versatility. down the first one that's also good so he hits both free throws and here in the first they really are hitting their free throws Portis against Kuzma Pass to Neto. Fires the three. No good that time. Who poked away. It's been all about Brooke Lopez for the Bucks. Eight points in the quarter. Showing how effective he can be. More 2K action in just a moment. And you ask Giannis his recipe for success. It's pretty simple. Yes, I'm going to tell you the secret. Get off social media. 
That's it. Just spend time with your family, spend time with your teammate, and just come here and do your job. I think uh, you don't stick against yourself. You know, you just go out there and play hard and uh, give everything with the team without thinking about nothing else. He does keep a tight-knit circle, Grant. Yes, I love it. No big entourage, just family, team, and the work. And that's what he's all about. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And when you consider how the Bucks are doing, guys, your thoughts? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. They've got Javon Carter. He's out there with George Hill. And it's Portis in at the four-man position. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Now here's Hill. And he comes up with a bucket. And the Bucks lead by eight. And always looking for the high percentage bucket. Hill got that one right to the middle. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher. So the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better. Trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment out. Interesting. Thank you. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. And here's Carter. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Ibaka. Shoots over Sadoransky. That one's wide left. The Wizards have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Caldwell Pope with a pass. That's how you feel! Oh! Okay. The dribble moves of Caldwell Pope just utterly hypnotizing to watch. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Left side hill. Great D that time from Sadoransky. The Wizards have gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Stolen by Carter. All alone on the break. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, it seems like now every player is expected to be able to do it all, Chris. Are the days of the specialist player behind us? I hope so, because I tell you what, you get shortchanged with the specialists. You can only put specialists in at certain times. The specialists can't guard. The specialists can't shoot three. The specialists, whatever happened to just having game? And that's what we're going to get back to. Game. What can you do? How can you help the team? Let's go. Let's rock. And that one falls for Carter. And some changes here for the Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo has checked in for Ibaka. Middleton comes in for Nora. And it's Allen in for Hill. So Washington going with an almost entire new group here. Chris stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Bryant. Gafford comes in for Kuzma. Hachimura has checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Beal in for Sadoransky. It's both from the stripe. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Beal outside. Down low. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. We've seen Beal evolve as a playmaker, including how he spots his open teammates. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Middleton. He's coming off a 25-point game against Denver. Out to Portis. 4-3. Porzingis grabs the board. The Wizards have gone 3 of 5 since the beginning of the second. And it's Beal penetrating. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. Beautiful effort on that tip in. High activity level is part and parcel of his game. Pass to Portis. Now Middleton. And you look at his numbers, just over 21 a game. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. Here's Neto. Soft touch off the glass. Now just a two-point Bucks lead. 
he'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. Ana Kumpo against Gafford. And it's Ana Kumpo with the miss. For Washington, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. And it's Hachimura on the drive. They're using the momentum on the drive to perfection. Hachimura is a terror in these situations. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Ana Kumpo outside. From 13, and too long on the shot. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Two points. That one goes. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Carter with it. Timeout called. Milwaukee. What I admire about Bradley Beal is his steady growth. Not just in his overall game, but how he's embraced becoming a leader. He's someone his teammates really look up to. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Holiday comes in for Carter. And a change for the Wizards. Smith, he's checked in for Neto. Pass to Lopez. Now here's Holiday, a reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. Just five on the clock. Beal against Middleton. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Boy, Beal's rise continues to impress. Every season, Grant, he improves as a scorer, especially. And the older he gets, the more wisdom he attains. Both on and off the court, his guys expect him to lead the charge. It's something that he takes great pride in. Now here's Holiday. And Middleton gets it to go on the assist by Holiday. Middleton's got five points. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Beal with it. Guarded by Ana Kumpo. Gafford. Drops the first. Both free throws good from Gafford. Here's Ana de Kumpo. He has six. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got six rebounds now in the game. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. It's Beal on the wing. Counted from distance. He's got ten. This is Beal's game. A fantastic catch-and-shoot guy. He wastes no time in getting it out of his hands. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Gafford. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Wizards on D. 
Allen. The pass to Holiday. Clock at six. With the 10 footer. They look frustrated right now. Nothing seems to be falling and it's starting to get to them. Lopez against Smith. Pass to Gafford. Here's Porzingis. Nice touch on the bank shot. Porzingis has gotten four this quarter. Check out Porzingis' energy. He's just relentless on both ends of the court. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo over Gafford. Again, Anadokounmpo missing. The Wizards with a lead. Beal from outside. Rebound by Middleton. And here's Allen. Pass to Holiday. Driving inside. Middleton up top. Now on to Kumpo. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three point play. And that one misses. When well, Tilly starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit is going to get me some. Time. And then Beal with the dunk. Uh, one of the best scorers. I mean, Beal is so good getting into a rhythm and taking over. One of the NBA's best scorers. The Bucks trail. Here's Holiday. Six to shoot. The jump hook. On a coupo. Can't connect. If his performance this quarter is any indication, I don't think he's the one who's going to let them out of the hole. Now to Achimura. Outside Porzingis. And stolen by Middleton. And there's the call on Rui Achimura. That's his first foul. Now the Bucks with it. They trail by seven. They'll be off to Portland for a meeting with the Trailblazers after this one. And that starts a four-game road trip for them. He's been off the mark since the start of the second quarter. Shots aren't dropping like they were early. Here's Smith. And the layup falls. It's that kind of aggression has led to an increased role for Smith these past few years. I mean, they want to play it fast and attacking. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Middleton with it. Working on Achimura. And he gets the bucket. And he's not going to pass up that one. And trust me, he should be solid from that in between. Holiday against Smith. Beal outside. Six on the shot clock. Outside Porzingis. Fires it. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Porzingis has got six in the quarter. Middleton against Hachimura. Off target at the rim. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. And the dunk by Gafford. Court awareness and moving over time. Hachimura demonstrating some nice passing instincts there. Now Holiday. Oh, there's the alley. And Giannis with the jam. Impressive how in sync Giannis is with his squad. Enabling them to set up a flashy alley-oop. Smith with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Here's Hachimura. 
That shot is off. The Bucks go the other way with it. Allen with it. Pass to Lopez. From outside, off the mark. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. Beal into the lane. On an Acupo with the block. A defensive player of the year winner. Antetokounmpo affects so many shots with his length. Now Middleton. He's guarded by Gafford. Holiday passes to Middleton. And here's Lopez. Three-pointer, no good. But he had two three-pointers in the opening quarter. And it hasn't been able to connect yet here in the second. Hachimura. You see that as Jillian Hachimura has, able to navigate his way to the bucket well. And the Bucks shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Holiday with the ball. Guarded by Smith. To the left wing. From 15 feet away. On an Akupo. Can't connect. Oh, defense. They just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. They get it back. Gafford passes to Porzingis. Oh, great D on that shot. And it's off the mark. And Daniel Gafford picks up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. A different look for Milwaukee. Ibaka, he's checked in for Anadokounmpo. Nora comes in for Middleton. And it's Hill in for Allen. So Washington going with an almost entire new group here. Bryant, he's checked in for Porzingis. Kuzma comes in for Gafford. Caldwell Pope's checked in for Achimura. And it's Sadoransky in for Smith. And that one drops. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that one on Serge Ibaka. Well, that's some fearless play from Sadoransky right there. I mean, the defender comes at him hard, but he sticks with the shot. First free throw is good. Now, what you especially like about Sadoransky, I mean, he gives you size out of the backcourt, and he's a complete player. A different look for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez, and it's Carter in for Holiday. Good on both. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Bryant against Portis. 43 seconds left in the first half of this game. Carter, high post. He's against Bryant. Hill can't connect. Washington has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Caldwell Pope. The tall players like Bryant have a unique vantage point. It helps him see the open man. And the Bucks shooting only 33%. Not exactly consistent offense. On the attack, Carter lays it up and banks it in. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Hill against Beal. Takes it inside. And then Beal with the dunk. He is so hard to stop. I mean, when Beal is committed to scoring, he doesn't care who's guarding him. And so it's Washington in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. Time for a quick break. Then back to the action. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Bradley Beal putting in some incredible work. He had 14 points, 3 assists, and 1 rebound. 
and taking a look at the Wizards. Shaq, what'd you think? They're playing with speed, pushing the ball off turnovers and long rebounds, running every chance they get. Because we all know scoring on the break is so much easier than finding open shots. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? Ice cold, frigid from beyond the arc. The question is now, can they shake it off and get back in the groove? Another option is compensate by going to the rim. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. On the court for Washington, Kyle Kuzma out there with Rui Achimura. Then it's Ish Smith. Then there's Bradley Beal. And it's Porzingis in at the five. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. Pass to Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Now here's Holiday. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Defended by Kuzma. Honor to Kumpo. The pass to Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Unbelievable. You talk about players who have transformed this league. Giannis is at the top of that list. Just a tremendous pass right there. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Chris Middleton, a multiple all-star, yet always seems like he flies under the radar. Coach Bud said, with how steady and subtle his game is, both defensively and offensively, he's a heck of a player that sometimes I think is underappreciated. But guys, I'd offer, not by his teammates. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. Gafford, he's checked in for Washington. Resiliency of Smith is something you have to admire. He's bounced around the league, but has finally become a valuable rotation player. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got rebound number eight now. And it's Beal penetrating. And then Beal with the dunk. Hanging on the rim, just showing off. <laughs> That's how you extend the glory right there. And Milwaukee shooting around 35% for the game. Honor Kumpo against Gafford. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. So many times Giannis forces his man into a foul. As a defender, you can't give him anything easy. That leads to a lot of contact. First free throw is good. Bryant, he's checked in for Washington. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. Beal is so tenacious on the drive. He shows no remorse to the defense on these type of dunks. And here's Holiday. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Over Bryant. And it's Anadokounmpo with the miss. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Smith into the lane. The rebound by the Bucks. 
And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Well, you can't ever feel safe with Holiday on the floor. Grant, he is one of the great ball hawks in the NBA. Yeah, he reads plays very well. He has a good wingspan to swipe away errant passes. One of the many reasons Holiday is such a great defender. Might take him a little while to find their stride here in the second half. Only one for four so far. They just need to calm down and play their game. Now here's Ana Kumpo. 12 points for him. And Porzingis with the block. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. Deal with it. Picked up by Allen. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Hachimura's got his third basket on the night right there. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. His touch has been off tonight, and, and, and now his judgment is off, too. I mean, come on. It's not a smart shot. Beal outside. Here's Porzingis. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. Beal's got five assists tonight. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. A trend that they'd like to reverse. Nettos checked in for Smith. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Ana de Kumpo against Bryant. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. One of the only ways to slow down Ante de Kumpo is to get physical with him. But you know what? That may not work. He is so good at absorbing contact in the paint. That one's off. And he sinks the second. And Washington with possession. They're on an 11-3 run. Peel outside. Pass to Achimura. Four on the clock. Neto's shot is off. The Bucks have gone only one for six here in the second half. Middleton outside, beyond the arc. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his fifth assist in this one. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Oh, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Now here's Middleton. He's got 12. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Wizards have gotten five of ten shots to go. Hachimura, the pass to Porzingis. Ana de Kumpo with it. Porzingis picks him up defensively. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Wizards. If you want to see how efficient the offense is running, a great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've gotten a ton of assists throughout this game. Hey, give them credit also for the number of layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the bucket. 
That free throw good from Middleton. And Chris Middleton, a great three-point shooter. But he's got a deadly mid-range game as well, Grant. Middleton is just flat out a shooter. Can pull up from anywhere on the floor. If you give him the mid-range, he'll take it and punish you. And the Bucks making a change here. Ibaka's checked in. Both free throws good from Middleton. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Beal outside. Back to Porzingis. He takes it in. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Boom. I mean, Porzingis laying down the hammer. Oh, mercy, mercy. For Milwaukee, they've gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Middleton outside. Hachimura with the defensive effort. The Wizards have gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Beal into the lane. On an Akupo with the block. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Milwaukee on D. Porzingis passes to Beal. Nails it from three. Beal's got 21 points in the game. I mean, Rocks his first three of the second half. After nailing two in the first, they don't want to let this fella get going. And the Bucks call time here. Well, Grant, you've won the NBA Sportsmanship Award three times. Tied with Mike Conley for the most ever. Wow, no, it is a humbling experience to get voted for that award by your peers. You know, it's all about, I think, trying to play the game the right way with integrity. And Conley is a guy that truly embodies that. So it's Milwaukee now. 19-point game. Now here's Holiday. He's guarded closely. And the Bucks miss again. That's the only way to hold him in check. He's got it inside. You got to have a body on him right away. To the inside. It's stolen by Holiday. Pass to Middleton. There's the three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Middleton's got 10 points here in the second half. One of the purest shooters in this game. Stopping Middleton has to be a focal point for your defense. Porzingis with it. Andy Baca picks him up defensively. Tipped away. Back to Neto. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Hill, he's checked in for Allen. Here's Holiday. And he lobs it up to the rim. And onto Tecumpo with the stuff. I mean, a true do-anything star. You know, Giannis' scoring ability sometimes is a little underappreciated. Here's Neto. Back to Beal. And there's the drive. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And you got to like the aggressiveness of Bill. He's constantly on the attack. Solid at picking up fouls on the drive. First one at the line is good. And did you see the maturation of Bill over time? I mean, I noticed it. He added more wrinkles and dimensions to his game. He's an impressive two guard. Norris checked in for Middleton. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Caldwell Pope's checked in for Neto. And Beal drops them both. Milwaukee has gone two for two from deep here on the third. Outside, Hill. 
Over to the left wing from about 19. Oh, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Antetokounmpo's got 17. And you've got to like Antetokounmpo's quick strike ability. There was no indecision, just a full commitment and a bucket. Caldwell Pope. Antetokounmpo with the block. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Kuzma's checked in for Washington. Pass to Beal. Just five to shoot. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. And again, Washington, no good. And for the Bucks, they're shooting a disappointing 38%. And then Portis with the dunk. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. They needed that, and I love that he just didn't settle for the lay-in. And the Wizards with possession here. Following the score by Milwaukee. Left side, Holiday. Wide open. Rebound, Washington. Bryant's got a rebound number five here tonight. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurting him. And down it goes. Two points. Far from just an outside score. Bill also has the skills needed to capitalize close to the basket. Now Holiday to the paint. Ibaka's shot is off. Beal outside. To the left wing. Hachimura, the pass to Bryant. Portis with the steal. Left side Hill. Let's it go from deep. Knocks down the triple. Hill's got seven. And Hill's a player whose shot has to be respected. Washington has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Beal outside. Inside. Here's Bryant. Ooh, great D that time from Ibaka. Here's Holiday. Here's Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. Just great energy on the offensive glass. That's exactly how you cut into a lead. Boy, a slam like that is sure to give him a spark. Now here's Beal. He's got 25. Poke loose. Beal against Hill. And he goes in for the dunk. And you talk about run, jump, athletes. Don't forget about George Hill. He can punch it down. There. Beal against Holiday. Kuzma outside. It's deflected. Pass to Hill. Ibaka with it. Takes a 13-footer. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Now just a five-point Washington lead. Timeout called. The Wizards. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. And the Bucks making a change here. Carter's checked in. And the Wizards shooting the rock well at 46%. Smith into the lane, and it's in there. Smith's got five points now in the quarter. The cleverness of Smith showing itself once again. Terrific at getting into the heart of the D. They cash in. Milwaukee has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Pass to Nora. Kuzma against Portis. Here's Nora. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Shot clock at six. Ibaka with it. He's guarded by Gafford. Rebounded by Kuzma. Does a good job just to get the shot off clean. Even if he can't knock it down, the fadeaway is really his only choice. Though. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Here's Hill following the bucket by the Wizards. 27 left in the third. 
Kuzma, the pass to Smith. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And now an 11-point Washington lead. A minute 15 left in the third quarter. Outside, Hill. Pass to Ibaka. Back to Hill. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. That'll shoot two. It goes on Thomas Sadaransky. Unafraid to mix it up inside. Hill with the strong move draws the foul. He makes a first. And that's good as he hits both shots. Here's Smith. He's got nine. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Kuzma against Portis. Sadaransky outside. Offline with a three. The Bucks trail. Pass to Portis. The three ball. Rebound Washington. Gafford's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Washington has gone only one of four from three point land in the third quarter. And there's the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Kuzma against Hill. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got four rebounds in the game. And it's Smith penetrating. The putback. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's the Wizards up 11. And we'll be back right after this. And now let's take a listen in on head coach Mike Budenholzer. Just keep grinding. Keep getting stuff. The offensive club. See if we can move it a little bit more against the runs and then drive it. Move it, catch it, shoot it. And Coach Bud wants his guys to work harder on offense. Yeah, and I like what Coach Budenholzer said. Just keep gutting through it and eventually, hopefully, it will come around. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Chris Middleton. Grayson Allen is out there with Drew Holiday. Then there's Brooke Lopez. And it's Portis in at the four. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. The Wizards shooting the ball at 48% so far. Here's Caldwell Pope. Nice D from Allen. Oh, a sensational play. Adjusting in midair to elude the defender. Just couldn't finish. Pass to Middleton. Up and over Smith. Middleton, no good. Smith with it. To the middle. And it's Kuzma finishing it off. Well, you have to admire the creativity. I mean, Kuzma, when he gets a chance for a highlight reel, he'll make a poster. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Here's Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. The yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Now here's Smith. It's Beal on the wing. Kuzma outside. From outside the arc. Rebound, Milwaukee. 
final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. From 13, offensive board. Here's Portis. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. With the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. Free throw good from Portis. Porzingis has checked in for Washington. Hachimura comes in for Caldwell Pope. Both free throws good from Portis. The Wizards have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Smith passes to Porzingis. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Hachimura finds Porzingis. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. And the Wizards lead by 11. So smooth off the catch. Porzingis is excellent at judging when to take quick shots. Holiday against Smith. On the wing, Holiday. There's the drive. Doesn't go for him. And Washington the other way now. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Pass to Porzingis. And they double up Porzingis. And here's Bryant outside. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Bucks. Ronald Acumpo is checked in for Portis. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Holiday against Smith. And there is a whistle. That'll go on Thomas Bryant. That'll be a second foul of the game. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Here's Kumpo. No good on the quick three. Beal against Allen. Pass to Smith. It's stolen by Holiday. And he's going for the lob. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, take these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Now here's Smith. Beal outside. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Now, we know he can hit threes, but Chris Stapp's showing he can slam it, too. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Holiday against Smith. Outside Holiday. High arcing shot. And Porzingis with the block. Deal with it. Picked up by Allen. Here's Hachimura. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo's got nine rebounds now. Banked it in off the glass. Anadokounmpo's got 11 points here in the second half. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Holiday against Smith. It's Beal on the wing. Here's Porzingis. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. On the offensive end, Porzingis has been so dialed in, making the most of every scoring opportunity he gets. The Bucks have gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Middleton outside. Here's Anadokounmpo. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Anadokounmpo's got 23 points. The Wizards have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Smith finds Beal. To the inside. 
Porzingis misses from short range. The Bucks trail. Outside Holiday. Pass to Lopez. Three pointer off the mark. Washington has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Hachimura. Kicks it out to Bryant. Now Smith. And there's a three second violation. Oh, it's stolen by Atimura. The shot won't fall. Good D by Middleton. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. The Bucks shooting only 36% since the fourth quarter started. Out of Kumpo, the pass to Allen. Middleton with it. Takes the three. Porzingis grabs the board. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Smith against Lopez. And here's Bryant outside. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Having to be careful around Lopez. He's solid at time and winning. Leap up to block shot. And another miss by Washington. And for the Bucks, they're shooting only 36% so far in this game. Here's Holiday. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Hachimura outside. Looking to end this cold spell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Well, we're looking at Rui Hachimura. He's already impressive as a big man. He does a little bit of everything, including he can space the floor from deep. First one at the line is good, and Achimura must continue to improve his shooting. It's crucial to his overall development, see when Yeah, rebounding as well, uh, but you can see the talent and, and work ethic he has. The future is bright for this young player. And both free throws good for Achimura. And really strong at the line since the break. Now here's Holiday. Pass to Ana Kumpo. Shoots over Bryant. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight. And it's helped him grab the lead. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Holiday from long range. The rebound by the Wizards. Porzingis has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Beal against Lopez. And it's Beal penetrating. And then Beal with the dunk. Look at the precision from Beal. It's just incredible. He, he loves slashing his way through the deep ball handle. Milwaukee's got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Pass to Holiday. Middleton outside. Six on the shot clock. From downtown. Rebound by the Wizards. They led the game at one point by 20. Achimura, the pass to Smith. Right side, Porzingis. Porzingis is double. Here's Smith. Giannis with the rebound. Adana Kumpo has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Down low. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. The offensive arsenal of Giannis continuing to expand over time. This guy is a wrecking ball. Smith outside. To the paint. And it's slammed in by Achimura. 
Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. The Bucks shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began. Here's Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. That's the mindset Middleton has to have. Be active and keep moving. Never let the defense get comfortable. Now a timeout called by Washington. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense. His ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. The Wizards making a switch here. Kuzma's checked in. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Over the last break, I got a chance to hear what Washington's head coach said to the team. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Okay, thank you, Allie. Now here's Holiday. Pass to Middleton. Now Lopez. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Refusing to be tied down. Lopez is good at exploiting the D and nailing the shot. Holiday against Smith. Knocks it loose. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. Porzingis finds Kuzma. Hachimura outside. Clock at six. Smith passes to Beal. Misses the three. And here is Hanada Kumpo. This one for three. No luck on that one. And Washington the other way now. Smith right side. Pass to Beal. Back to Smith. Now here's Hachimura. Beal with it. From deep. Rebound, Milwaukee. On to the Kumpo is. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single digit deficit. And look at Giannis using his length inside, allowing him to beat the contact and get the finish. And it's Beal penetrating. And then Beal with the dunk. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And Porzingis with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. One twenty-four left in the fourth quarter. Uh, and when Kuzma is motivated on defense, it helps big time. He needs to be more consistent on this end. Here's Hachimura. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Man, the defender really went after him. skill set Hachimura already possesses it is enticing. Now it's up to him to continue to flesh out his game. And 
Both free throws good for Achimura. A minute 15 left in the fourth. Anadokounmpo against Kuzma. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Allen. The teardrop. And Porzingis with the block. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Wizards. And of course, they really dominated in the paint tonight. They obviously came in looking to impose their will. Attacked the heart and soul of that defense. And it led to a lot of good looks. And for the year, this will give them win number 17. And that's an important win. You never like to lose two in a row to a team, especially if you only see them three times. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Kristaps Porzingis. His range and timing protecting the rim, he blocked a lot of shots and altered even more. Pass to Holiday. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. And so it's Washington with it. They led the game at one point by 20. Now Smith. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the winds can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Chris Weber, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.